So freeze branding. Freeze branding. It's the way of the future. Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Skippy Longstocking. Is that Pippi's sister? Brother? Spencer. What? I said. Oh, this here is Frank wearing a backwards shirt. Now back to you. Okay. Skippy Longstocking. You don't have to say shirt's backwards because who's to say? Although the neckline yeah, does the neckline give is it away. <laughs> South of Philly, which is in um, St. Augustine. St. Augustine. Steak it's, shop. Uh, yeah. That is still in business. I just checked. <laughs> Good <laughs> we, for them. We haven't been there. If you ever uh, need a cheesesteak away from Philadelphia, go to St. Augustine, which is probably also far from you. <laughs> no. Skippy Longstocking. I'm Skippy Longstocking. Yeah, do you know Pippi Longstocking? Not really. Not really. I used do they to have love... a plum on their thumb? No, why? Isn't that a book? Yeah. That's um, Little Jack Horner. <laughs> yeah. Sat on the corner? Little Jack Horner um, stuck his thumb in a plum, or <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Little Jack's a wild boy. Um, Pippi Longstocking is a book from the 1940s. I loved this this a series of books. Oh, it was a series of books. <clears throat> series of books, and okay. it was this girl. And you probably saw Halloween costumes where they she, her braids stick out. Yeah, red hair, braids, freckles, and um, she was unconventional and superhumanly strong. Oh. Yeah, and she, okay, she, she had a pet horse and she could lift it up with one hand. Wow. Okay. That's not what my name is, though, but it does have something to do with a horse. I'm not Pippi Longstocking. You're I'm Skippy. Skippy Longstocking, which was a, it's just an amazing name. Yeah. And it's a horse uh, that um, just came in third, not just, June 11th, and we're at June 29th. Um, the Belmont Stakes. Okay. Uh, he came in third. Yeah. And great name. I love horse names. <laughs> like, wh- who started that? Of like, yeah. let's make horse names the funniest things ever. Right. Oh man. Yeah. So that's the Belmont Stakes. So because um, tomorrow we end June. See you later, June. See you later, June. Because not gonna miss you. Do you know the poem that helps you remember that? Hey, June. No, to let you know, there's only thirty days in June. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. That's it. That's it. Everyone knows the first part, but I don't know if you know the second part. All the rest have 31 except for February, which is 28. Yeah, that's uh, the gist of it. But I think it's supposed to rhyme. So yeah. I don't know. But anyway, so um, we can't forget that the Belmont Stakes were held. Okay. June, <laughs> At this point, we will not forget the, the Belmont June Stakes. June 11th. <laughs> and that, um, you know, there's there's three very important horse races. Yeah. And if you win all three, it's called the Triple Crown. The Triple Crown. Yeah. Um, Kentucky Derby. Pre- Belmont Stakes. Pre- Preakness. What? The Preakness. Okay. Kentucky Derby and the Belmont Stakes. Um, and you should be happy because uh, this was the 111th time that... <laughs> I'd love one so much when they're next to each other. And um, it this is the last one. It's called the Test of the... The Test of Time? The Test of the Champion. Oh. It's the final leg of the American Triple Crown. Do you know how long the racetrack is? A mile? Mile and a half. Mile and a half. One mile and a half a mile, Yeah. And you have to be three years old to be in it. You have to be a thoroughbred and be three years old. Okay. So that's what Skippy Longstocking is. Um, the winner, I guess we should mention because that's not polite. What, who are they? Mo Donegal. Yeah. Eh. His, his name's not as fun. No. I know. But last week I asked if Moses' nickname was Mo. You did. And I said, no, it's this. Right. <laughs> Um, so Mo, Mo Donegal won. Who cares about um, second place? <laughs> yeah, who cares? Second place is just the first loser. Yeah. But the the other interesting thing is these thoroughbred race horses, <clears throat> they have the owner. So he's so happy to win. Yeah. The trainer, he's so happy that the horse he won. And the jockey. And the jockey. Um, I don't know anything about the owner or the trainer, but I do know. <laughs> uh, owner or the jockey. I do know. You that always the, know the third most important thing. <laughs> no, second. Yeah, you're right. Third. Yeah. Yeah, and this would be probably owner would be first, jockey would be second. I know the trainer. Oh. I don't know the trainer, but um I just thought it was interesting. His name is Safi Joseph Jr. He's from Barbados, so he's a fellow oh, he's a, a Caribbean fellow boy, an island boy. Caribbean neighbor of yours. Oh man. Um and Safi, the the uh the Pennsylvania uh Derby, one million dollar prize in twenty nineteen. That's what really brought him to the um 
the eclipse spotlight of the bucks of these horse trainers. Yeah. Um, his father's a horse trainer in Barbados, and um, so now he is a horse trainer here. He's he's winning because that was Doing 20, something right. Twenty nineteen is when he won in Pennsylvania, and now twenty uh, twenty two he he just won in New York. Um, but guess what? So I don't know if I mentioned the name of the race that um, Skippy Longstocking was in. <laughs> Do you remember? No. Belmont State. Okay. Um, but guess what? This trainer who trained this this uh, horse and and was like, I don't know, oh, because I think um, in one of the other, he, ca- he came in like fifth. Oh. Right? He trained him. He's like, he was trying to get from Fort Lauderdale to New York. Okay. The plane was grounded because the air conditioner was broke. He had to watch the, he Are had to watch for TV. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Poor Sophie. guy. Yeah. Uh, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. But that's why my name is Skippy Longstocking. And it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's one of your better ones. Um, how you guys doing? It's a beautiful Wednesday. It's Wednesday, June 29th. Like you said, it's the end of June. Mm-hmm. It's a special religious day. Did you know that? No. Oh, all those notes. <laughs> all those notes about, about Blue Mountain Steaks. Um, and you don't know. It is a religious day. It is St. Peter and St. Paul Day. Oh, St. Peter and St. Paul. Yeah. Um, I believe there's a cathedral, right? St. The- the Cathedral of St. Peter's and Paul. It's either New York or Philadelphia or Chicago. Yeah. One of the big cities. So um, they share today. Uh, it's about the martyrdom of them. Okay. And you may be asking, why are they put together? Yeah. I because... Kinda, I kind of wondered about the cathedral. Yeah. Why, why are they put together? Because they weren't even talking to each other. Right. Well, they might... I don't know if they crossed paths, but... Yeah. It was two, probably, two yeah. different people. It's because they were both martyred for their faith okay by the same roman emperor emperor really? nero it was under his call you're going to execute I'm glad it's you're not, getting executed i'm glad it's not emperor nero day it's not it's not um so yes we were celebrating them the uh or the, the honoring them for they the did ultimate, so much they did, they did the most keep christianity afloat afloat <laughs> um but don't get too sad okay. that um, they were martyred because it's National Day of Joy. Really? Yeah. What a broad day. National yeah. Day of Joy. Just like joy. Yeah. Joy. But I think I like it. It's like kind of, you can do a little National religious twist. National Day of Joy. Yeah. Just be joyous. How do you make yourself joyous if, if nothing has made you joyful? Well, it's also National Hug Day. Maybe that'll help. Gosh. Um... Joyful hugs on St. Peter's and Paul Day. Mm-hmm. That's kind of... I could see that. Yeah, I guess. Ah. You need two people to hug, and they were two people. You need two to tango. <laughs> I wonder if Peter and Paul ever hugged each other. Oh. Know, were they even alive at the same time? I don't... How long after... No, the specifics. Jesus was Paul doing his thing. Oh, my eye. Well, I guess it had to have been generally the same time, because Emperor Nero was... Yeah. Strutting around, killing them all. Yeah. Um. We never said that we were bible historians no so. we just we just enjoy it we're uh enthusiasts we're joyful we're, yeah. <laughs> we're just spreading joy on joy day we're joyful. but yeah peter and paul i like that you think there's also because there's a little alliteration p- 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 yeah peter and paul you know there's a saying um rob peter to pay paul rob peter to pay paul peter and paul sounds like a lawyer like peter paul isn't that also a candy company you ever get into a car accident call peter and paul isn't it peter says. paul i'm enjoy I don't know. I think it is. I thought it was Nestle. Well, by now, there's only one person in the whole world who owns everything. Who? <laughs> Elon Musk. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, all the little... I think it used to be. Yeah, everything. it's candy. crazy when, when you find out how everything under... Like, gets bought up by umbrella companies. Yeah. When I saw, like, what is it? Like, BMW, Volkswagen, Mercedes, I think Audi. They're all, like, obviously they started by themselves. Yeah, yeah. But they're all just under one now. Yeah, I and heard it's that. Like, it's really and like Jeep isn't really Jeep. Don't, don't say that. I really believe that. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to your core, I really, I really believe. It. Nobody told me it, but I just know. I really believe it. I'm serious. Oh man, um, but yeah, so beautiful day. A lot to remember. Yeah, <laughs> life is hard. <laughs> no, I meant joyful. Peter Paul. Hugging. I wasn't planning on saying all of the uh, all of the holidays, okay. but they just sort of kept rolling and off. And look at home. you with your good memory. Yeah, I have the best. Oh, do you? Yeah, I just got checked. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, they told me. You didn't so forget? You... you got checked? Ha ha ha! Memory jokes. You got anything else to start off the show? 
No. All right, well, then we'll just get into the climax of the show. I never. The ever denouement. St- remember, like, I feel like you always learned about books since, like, the introduction, the climax, and the resolution. And, but what's the denouement? I don't think that's English. It, it's not. It's French, but it, it's something to do with that. It's oh, like, is it like uh, the the matinee? No. <laughs> it's like D- D-E-N-M-O-U-S-E. <laughs> M-O-U-S-E. I don't know. That's mouse. It, uh, but <laughs> it's denouement. <laughs> it's something. It's um, M-I-C-K-E-Y. You know, it's an important part of the structure of a story. I don't know. I don't know either. What I do know is one thing. That's today is Wednesday, Wednesday. and we have a little something here special called One Word, word Wednesday. Wednesday. Only one word. But we've said so many so far. We have. People might sue us. Yeah. That's weird. You said it was One Word Wednesday, and you said a lot more than one word. And that's what I had signed up for, like the five foot yeah. movie. No, five foot. What? <laughs> the uh, five dollar foot long? Yeah. And they measured it. Yeah. And they, they, they weigh the quarter pounder and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they do. But we said a lot of words, but that's Okay, not, well, let me give some context. One word Wednesday, we don't only say one word, but we only, we have one word as a topic of conversation. Mm-hmm. It's also French. And um yeah, we talk about it. We just chit chat. Why not? Maybe bring some spiritual significance. The Bible might be brought up. It might not, so don't you know hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> hold your breath Wednesday. But uh yeah, let's just get into it. Join the conversation. Have fun. Sit down. Eat something. Yes. We can't because that would not be polite. Uh, mukbangs are pretty popular, but but people sign up for that. Uh, un- it's yeah, it's like a uh, you need consent. <laughs> uh, unsolicited mukbangs. You know what? That is a really good. Let's promote that. Yeah. Ask consent before you chew near me. Oh, true. Because yeah. I'm going to say no every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you mind if I eat in in Ask within consent. five feet of you? Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah. Now, yeah. obviously, you'd give that you give up that if you went to a restaurant or something, you would have to know that yeah. you, you gave it up. Yeah. But um, but OK, let's start that. OK. <laughs> Consent is key, especially when you're chewing on someone's ear. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So the word of the day is. OK. The word of the day. Oh, you is, don't even have it ready. It, well, we have an activity. You can't see. Oh, are we about to make electricity? No, we're going to. This is a paper clip and you can't see because I'm holding it against things that you can't see. No, we're gonna they'll t- believe it. Take the paper clip. Oh, we're going to brand ourselves? Yeah. Wait, really? I'm going to brand you. I don't want to be branded. <laughs> Brandon. Okay. Y- you heat up the paper clip. This looks like some drug activity. No, it's not. Okay. It's middle school activity. You, you heat up the paper clip and then you push it on your skin. What middle school did you go to? <laughs> My middle school activities was like playing soccer. Oh, excuse us. You had a ball. <laughs> you got lighters. You're like eight years that's old. That's true. That's true. Okay. We're not going to brand anybody if you're not into it. Whatever. <laughs> if you're such a square. Yeah. Okay. If you're such a, we could have made you a shape of a square and then you could have let everyone know at camp <laughs> if you go back. Um, Listen, brand. Like like a literal brand like a skin brand or are you talking about like a brand of well a i think in the old days when we did one word wednesday we we did the rainbow of the word so like we will talk about oh. branding and brand and brand and brand okay brand new brand new okay so the word bring you're correct so one word wednesday brand and you just said brand new i have that okay perfect <laughs> don't this don't, is like uh don't worry what's the steve harvey show <laughs> Isn't it called the Steve Harvey Show? No. Like oh. The, what, what's he the host of? Oh, he's host of um, Top 5 Answers Are On yeah. The Board. Brand new. Ding. It's like the last song. You're right. <laughs> That's, um, that is Family Feud. Family Feud. Here we come. I found it. All right. Brand new. Okay. So brand, it comes from, the word brand comes from Old English, which means fire or torch. Okay. So something that was brand new. Brand new. Some people thought the word was bran. Brand new? Yeah, like, you know, Raisin Bran, brand new. What idiots. <laughs> um, means that something is just out of the fires of creation, like a forged sword or a pottery bowl. Oh. Um, Shakespeare actually used fire new uh, <laughs> to mean the same thing yeah. in several places. Interesting. So you said brand new. So you get a point. <laughs> And so I'm guessing that's also where brand for companies comes from, where if yes. you like 
you know, you have you're making your whiskey barrels, right? And you brand it with your logo because you have a logo, right? And psh. yeah, you're right about that. Um, Sweet brands. We just use the word nowadays in the year 2024 because this will be on YouTube in 2024 as well. So, I hope so. It's only three years from now. Well, no, I'm just saying like three years. Two years. <laughs> I get lost. Well, I'm saying like, you ever watch a YouTube and then they're like talking about like 2018 or something and you're just like, this is old. Yeah. We should start saying we're... Oh, we're from the future. Yeah. Yeah. If you're watching this and it's not 2024, then... Just wait. <laughs> just, yeah. No, I'm saying when it is 2024, they're going to be like, this is a new video. Oh, uh, okay. We'll be long gone. We'll be long gone. Okay. So, Brand, you're correct. It's um, It comes from... In, in, it's very old that people started branding things well probably probably more it's old it's probably older than we have documentation for because sure well i would think like back in those days what days like bible or roman what's older i don't know <laughs> like you would you would want you would you would want your jewelry or your paper or your or your your pigeon to be known as Enoch's pigeons. You yeah. Know, maybe you put a little bracelet of string around his foot. Okay. Well, is that a is that a brand? Well, um, the reason I thought it was a brand was because, um, like, well, that's not, this is very recent. The 13th century, you know, Italians would put watermarks on the paper that they would make. Yeah. This is our paper. Like, or, or we, um, you know, I feel like in Asian cultures they do the stamp with the. Yeah. I guess that's oh, kings would do that too. Yeah. So it was sealed by the king. It's kind of like their brand. You're right. So those kind of brands, and people have to know about brands because, um, you know, so much entrepreneurship these days, um, more so than ever before. Yeah. Um, you, you, <clears throat> and so people brand companies, businesses, but also people. Like, yes. You know, yes. Your, your individual brand. Yeah. No, yeah. I definitely think, especially nowadays, um, we're moving into this thing of, of an individual brand. Yeah. And um, I think it's important to think about, you know, because it's like you, you like, yeah, for for all a lot of the the history, you would work for other companies and stuff. Right. And you still will. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like quit your job, but, you know, you're like building someone else's brand. But I think it's important to think about your own brand. Yeah. Your own value, your own like, what do I want to be perceived as what like. Um, there's always like, what uh, what do I want to leave behind? Right. And a lot of that has to do with the brand you make, and and, right. and that's w your impact. And um, I think it's important, you know. Like, yeah. But is it? It is because when we say you have to have a brand, like, yeah, we're not saying that you have to have a logo. You know, Spencer is trademarked. You know. Yeah. But you know, your brand. Um. You know, if if you're just known for being kind, yeah, like that's you know your brand. So like, if if you if if you had acted out of the ordinary, and they interviewed a bunch of people and said, "Are you surprised that Spencer did this?" It'd be like, "Yeah, it's so off brand." Yeah. So, you know, but all, conversely, if you do a lot of terrible stuff, that becomes your brand, you know, and you don't want that. You don't want people to say, you know, I bet it was that guy on the corner because yeah, his brand is kind of sketchy, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So a brand sets um, products apart, identifying markers are used. And um, do you know what a brand, is it, I forget, brand identity? No, that's not it. But anyway, it talks about um, brand equity. That's it. Mm. Brand equity is when you have um, two, two items. So you could have like Tylenol and then you have store brand Tylenol. Yeah. Um, it's like this, it's the same product, but... The branding uh, of Tylenol yeah. um, gets it makes them more valuable. Yeah. So they get brand they get um, brand loyalty, they get customer loyalty. They can charge more. Yeah. Um, but they could be and pro usually are <laughs> like almost completely yeah. similar to to something else. But um, that's enough about this. Isn't a business show. You you mentioned branding, or I mentioned I tried to brand you with the metal. Um, do you do you know anybody who has a brand? A no. brand? No. Oh. You're not in a black fraternity. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the only place like on TikTok I'll, I'll see it. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> um, branding you can go to shops. They have them. They have them in Pennsylvania. They probably have them all over the United States. Yeah, tattoos, scarification is yeah. more cutting. 
But um, they can do it safely where they, same thing as the paper clip. You heat up metal, you push it on your skin, and when it- Ouch. Um, Michael Jordan has a brand. Really? Michael Jordan, Emmett Smith. They were in, I'm guessing, college. Yeah. Um, college fraternities. So um, you don't want one of those. No way. Hmm. Sounds like it hurts. Hmm. I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> you think I'm just going to get a brand? Um, okay. Crook and Crow, CNC right on my arm. I think it's kind of tempting. No, it's not tempting in the slightest. It's tempting to me. Even if it didn't leave a permanent brand, I like wouldn't have it done. Well, obviously, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I guess the other way around. Even if it didn't hurt, I don't think I'd want a brand. Yeah, well, you you don't like any of that nonsense. Any of that nonsense. You don't like any of that jewelry. You don't like tattoos. You no. don't like. You can um, get you can get a tattoo laser removed. You can't get a brand. No, but that's it's true. You can't, but guess what? That makes it even a little bit more. Oh, to some people maybe if you okay. have if you're into brands that's fine i'm not if you're into it so um <laughs> well it is it is in I, I say yeah i laugh about being into it but i mean they do enjoy belonging to something um forever yeah like you know like i said michael jordan has his brand and he yeah i can see that it's um and yeah it's just like sort of what we're talking about and i'm going to use that to segue into something okay um christianity has a brand Christianity is the brand? Yeah, it's the yeah. brand. Okay. Now, here's the problem with it. Okay. Before I start saying what's good with it, because earlier we were talking about our personal brand, and we're like, um, when we do things, you know, it's, oh, Spencer did that. Right. Because his brand's all over it. Right. You know, like, psh, like old school brand. Right. And um, I think, you know, because when I said, is it good or is it bad, mm -hmm. in Christianity, the question is like, should we be doing things through Christianity? Like, I did this good work because of psh, Christianity. Okay. And I think in one aspect, yes, but the negative thing I'm going to say is that does happen. That's what people do for good and also a lot for bad. A lot, I think oh, yeah. a lot of people that have bad things to say about Christianity is because someone is walking around with the brand of Christianity. You're right. And, psh, and on that, psh, and on that, psh, and on that. And it's like you walk over and you see just like a cow if it, if it says... Oh well, that that person You're belongs right. to that. You're right. You're saying, oh well, that 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 act or you know, right, insult or injury is branded by Christianity. Christianity did it. You're right. But it's it's he who holds the brand. <clears throat> You're right, and and you. So you want to, yeah, but wait. So I want to be careful not to be brand. Like, say there was a bunch of bad horses and they were doing turmoil all over town, and they all had the brand of this the okay corral yeah you know i don't want to be associated with those horses but i do want to be part of the okay corral so what do you do what do you do mm -hmm. i don't know i'm just thinking of this on the spot but i think i, I think you know what i think i think it goes back to person the importance of personal brand okay um like as if you see mr rogers i'll bring him up every podcast and you guys can't <laughs> stop me what did he do? He went around stamping everything with Mr. Rogers. Okay. And then you... You're right. Then, well, the, then it's, it's like, oh, that's Mr. Rogers. And he's great. Everything he brands is good. And then you find out he's from the OK Corral. You find out he's from the OK Corral. And okay. I think, the, yeah, the problem with the broad sweeping is you give everyone in charge, you know, like the ability to say, oh, well, this is right. this. This is this. And it's like, I think... Like we are humans, we're individuals, we have free choice. And so if my brand is I'm Spencer Cartier and I'm a Christian, I'm going to brand everything with I'm Spencer Cartier and I'm a Christian. Right. And then people can say, oh, I don't really like the way Sp Spencer Cartier is branding things. Right. Rather than I'm just going around with my cross brand and then someone's just like, well, apparently all of Christendom believes right. that. Right. And that's good, too, to look out for. You know, if you see a brand, if you see a Christian brand or a yes. Jewish brand or a Muslim yes. brand, you know, uh, don't you probably want to know more about. Yeah. Because people could just hide behind the brand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I know it can be hard to see sometimes within Christianity. But if you look at other things that maybe are less familiar to us mm -hmm. who are in America, like. You see a lot of the country, the way they see Muslim people. Right. Um, or people that practice Islam. And 
a lot of people are quick to see the Islamic brand on things. Right. And then say, Islam is bad. I know about this. And I, they don't, I, I right. know. How are you going to tell me they're not, what's it called, um, extremists mm. they're they're not they're, they're not hate driven the women aren't you know yeah. um when, persecuted when yeah. when all of these things have the islam brand right on it right and it's like well yeah because you're having one person or a group of people within that putting the brand on it when you're really right. it's the individual hiding behind the brand you're right and so we need to separate i think they like the main brand of, of these these overarching things um and then the individual who's pushing it and be aware of that. Be aware right. that, like, you know, especially in Christianity, like nobody but God really wields the singular brand of of pure right. Christianity. Right. Everything else is through the lens of us and how, and how we understand it. So, like, it all has that cross and then our little initials underneath it. Right. And this is what we believe. Not nobody can speak for God. Right. And so, um, yeah, you know, it's the same thing. You know, with the Bible, the Bible brand. You yeah. know, um, we. We talk about the Bible all the time and, and promote it and share it and um, just learn about it constantly. And we have people who comment on our different forums and they'll they'll pick out of the Bible a part that's really hard to like come to terms with. Like, yeah. what does this mean in 2022 or what does this mean as a loving, you know, um, religion, uh, spirituality thought? <laughs> Um, and they're just taking the Bible. Yeah. This is the Bible. This is the book, and this is the brand, and hitting it. And it's it's more nuanced than that. Yeah, yeah, it's more individual than that, and it's it's personal. So I mean, as just a full. You're right, because people can use the Bible against you if they twist it. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, I, I think it it all goes back to what we said originally about the importance of building your personal brand, right? And promoting that, and and not. In anything. You're right. And, and say, you know, I'm an American and I'm Spencer Cartier and this is what I believe. Or I'm a Democrat and I'm Spencer Cartier. And this is like, have everything, You're right. have your, you, like you put first. This is, this is me and You're this right. is what I believe. You know, and that would also help you, you know, if because then you could say like this, you could say, you know, I met a Christian and I really didn't like him. Yeah. But it's, it's sad when you say, I met, I met a Jew, uh, I met, um, a Jew and I really don't like them. Yes. No, you met a Jewish person and you didn't like him yeah. or her. And and I think it's just good for individuality and like agreement. Like a like think of uh think of like a petition, mm-hmm. you know, or like or like a vote. Yeah. And if it if all the lines on who's voting for what just says a Christian, a Christian, a Christian, a Christian, a right. Christian, or if everyone who believes in this as a Christian has their individual names, has their individuality, and it's like right, you can you can. Be able to not feel like you're boxed in, and there and there's, oh, well, this is the way. It's mm-hmm. well, that's what what's what you believe, and and I believe something different. Right, and we we're both can be Christians, but you're right, we're, we're not. Neither of us have the ultimate brander. I want to tell you something before we go. Um, so we're talking about the heat branding, yes. you know, and you keep making the noise Psh, and this and that. Psh. Do you know that there's freeze branding? Oh man, why do you got all these nasty things? It's not nasty. It's that better is- than it doesn't scar. So it's what better. Does it do? it just I'll hurts? tell you. No, it doesn't hurt. It's painless. It's, I doubt it's painless. Well, it is. It's um, it's legible, permanent, and difficult to alter. Relatively painless, relatively. and does not scar or damage the horse's hide. Oh, it's for a horse. It's for a horse. Okay. Because horses are, you know, yeah, like the butt brand is horse thieves. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It happens in our in our world a lot. Um. So freeze branding is liquid nitrogen. And the horse has a coat of fur, hair, horse hair, horse hair, horse hair. So the the horse has all this hair. Okay. When you freeze it the correct way with this brander, it only, it takes the pigment out of the strands of hair forever. Huh. It, it, you know, it's like chemistry or something. Chemistry. (laughs) I don't know. So you've, it's called freeze branding. And so I can put on here, you know, a CNC for Croak and Crow on the horse and he will live his life and the hair will come and go and it will always have a, a clear, which will show up like white, CNC on him. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. If you do it longer, um, you do you do make a bold spot. Yeah. But that's good for light colored horse hair, 
horses because yeah. their skin is dark. Oh. So freeze branding. Freeze branding. It's the way of the future. Look it up. All right, guys, that has been a very thought-provoking One Word Wednesday. We'll be back tomorrow for Walk Through Thursday. So go out, get a Crook and Crow brand, and meet us back here in 24 <laughs> hours. Peace. Walk, walk.